welcome back students to one more series of your organic reaction mechanism now today what are we going to learn so till now what what did we learn let us recollect so in the reaction mechanism i've taught you about carbylamine reaction mechanism aldol condensation reaction mechanism gabriel thalamide synthesis as well as esterification uh, not esterification uh, dehydration of alcohols now in today's video let us learn about esterification reaction so what actually is esterification reaction let's write let us see the mechanism everything all about esterification reaction right so basically ester as we know here the most important thing whenever we are trying to do ester when we speak about ester what is the order which we it comes to our mind that's fruity smell isn't it so esterification reactions we put it in the beaker we mix acid we take uh, we mix alcohol and uh, take a take water in a separate uh, beaker and put that test tube in that we find we tend to like after two three minutes you get the formation of an ester which is which has fruity odor now let us see the mechanism and reaction which is involving in this so esterification reactions basically are reactions of an acid that is carboxylic acids as well as reaction of carboxylic acid with what with alcohols remember reaction of an acid with alcohol so most important thing what should be present here in the presence of in the presence of of mineral acids okay in the presence of mineral acids i'll be doing the esterification mineral acids what are the mineral acids like nothing but concentrated sulfuric acid i can take concentrated sulfuric acid or i'll be taking hcl right so what is it going to form to form esters right so here in this what is the first important thing as i said acid combines with alcohol in the presence of which are reversible reactions in the presence of an acid that is h2so4 to form an ester and water is eliminated this is your esterification reaction if it is asked for one mark you can write this reaction as well right now let us go into the reaction now what acid i'm going to take i'm going to take write the general thing carboxylic acid i'm going to take an alcohol okay alcohol how will i write i'll be writing uh, alcohol like this r oh is it okay students nothing no problem isn't it right so there is elimination of water molecule here <coughs> hoh and you're going to get in the presence of h plus you're going to get r c o o r pine and water molecule so acid is this alcohol is this ester is this what is this now let us take specifically in the acid i'm going to take acetic acid for the alcohol i'm going to take ethanol c2h5oh right so it's reversible reaction in the presence of sulfuric acid what is eliminated water is eliminated oh and h what do you get ch3 coo c2h5 and what is this water is eliminated what is the name of this compound ethyl ethanoate ethyl two carbons here ethanoate so ethyl ethanoate right students so ethyl ethanoate is a product which is formed right so what is the reactivity of ester towards esterification when we take so when i have to see the order towards the esterification first tertiary alcohol less it shows less tendency compared to secondary alcohol less tendency compared to primary alcohols less tendency compared to methanol done students so let me write the formula tertiary means three alkyl groups secondary two alkyl groups primary one alkyl group acetic acid and formic acid done students now let us see the mechanism of esterification as i said esterification is removal of water and formation of an ester when i have to see the mechanism of esterification reaction let us write write step by step esterification reaction and see so when i have to put the heading mechanism right 
so let me write step by step so in esterification reaction first important thing you have to remember is it is a nucleophilic acyl substitution reaction okay what is this it is a nucleophilic acyl substitution reaction which one catalyzed by an acid catalyzed by an acid this is the basic thing right so first important thing in step one as I said first you are going to take an acid this is an acetic acid okay so this particular acid let's count one two three four five six seven eight right I said catalyzed an acid so I'm going to take H plus this is a reversible reaction as I said so a proton from the protonic acid attacks the carbonyl oxygen step one is attack of proton on the carbonyl oxygen or carb or carbonyl oxygen yes of which one of carboxylic acid right this is the step what do we get R C O H O H and plus so 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 1 2 okay, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 next so step one is attack of protonic uh, acid the carbonyl oxygen now second step attack of alcohol on activated carbon attack of alcohol and activated carbon so take this R C O H O H 1 2 3 4 8 plus O R H 1 2 3 4 attack R C O H O H attack I said this whole thing goes in attaches here O R H 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 what is this called this is a tetrahedral intermediate tetrahedral intermediate right students now let me take a fresh page for you all because this is done right now in the third step shift of proton in the tetrahedral intermediate shift of proton in the tetrahedral intermediate to form OH2 plus so when it shifts how does it look R C O H right O H O R prime the same thing which I have written earlier now as I said proton transfer how does it look R C <coughs> O H O H 2 O R prime now next step the shift of proton to form OH2 as I have written next step intermediate is formed and a water molecule is lost right so what does it form it forms a protonated ester so let us write formation of protonated ester okay what does it look R I am going to take the same compound here R OH OH2 done O R now what did I say 
formation of protein is disturbed by by losing water molecule. I'm going to take out water molecule from where? Just this spot. How does it look now? R C double bond. O H. This O R. This O H is here. This O R is here. One, two, three, four, five, six plus. Now, let me come back to the last step, the fifth step. Protonated ester. This is what? This is protonated ester. Let us write that. Protonated ester. Now, what will happen? Protonated ester loses what? Loses a proton. I'm going to take out proton to form here formation of ester. Take the same thing R C double bond H O R 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 R prime this protonated ester is there isn't it so there is loss of water uh, is loss of H plus proton is lost the bond shifts here and we're getting R C O O R right our ester is formed H plus is removed right so this is your ester so this is your esterification reaction students I have written everything clearly let me show you all the pages so this is your esterification reaction then I have shown you the order also yes students right and uh, then I have taken you into the next page where I say set it is a nucleophilic acyl substitution I've shown you the complete mechanism I've shown you the formation of tetrahedral intermediate then I have shown you the step by step the whole process for the formation of ester right thank you for watching I'll meet you again with one more reaction mechanism students hope this is clear to you all thank you for watching stay happy stay connected